Bienvenidos, welcome. Uh, in honor of the first Sunday of NFL football, we're going to cook up some bass chorizos that I mentioned in another video. And I'm going to show you how the traditional way it is uh, to cook and eat a bass chorizo. So it's getting a little windy out here today, but here's your bass chorizos. The difference between the bass chorizos and the Mexican chorizo is the bass chorizo is semi-cured or cured, meant to be cooked and eaten in the casing. Usually it's a natural casing versus the Mexican chorizo is uh, ground up. Bass chorizos are chopped pork, Mexican chorizos are ground pork, and the Mexican chorizos are meant to be taken out of the casing, casing and eaten fresh versus the Basque uh, chorizo is meant to be left in the casing and semi-cured or cured. So anyway, uh, these are made by Jim, Jim State, and uh, we did go through a shortage of them uh, recently because the company sold to someone else. So now they're making a comeback. And uh, looking a little bit on the internet, these are not widely available in other parts of the, the country. And if you watched my red green stew video, uh, I talked about Southern Idaho is the largest Basque population outside of Spain. And so I try to cook things that's widely available to everybody, but uh, yeah, I just realized recently that because of our Basque population is not widely available across the country, but they are good. Uh, easily grilled up and uh, we'll get these cooked and I'll serve them up for you. And the barbed wire around there is to keep things from rolling off. This is a Lodge Sportsman uh, little bocce style great for smaller quantities of food or great for cooking for two people but if you're cooking hot dogs things like that they have a habit of rolling off so that's what the barbed wire halo is for is to keep things from rolling off right there you can see the fat inside the chorizo is cooking internally so you know you're getting close Getting a good sizzle, getting a good sizzle on these. Basically, when you bite into them, you want a good crunch. And even though they are supposed to be cured or semi cured, you want to make sure they are cooked all the way through. Okay, we pretty much have it. So basically, you bun them up, which you're going, yep. That's easy peasy. But there's a catch. No ketchup. No sauerkraut. If you want to make a fast person upset, put ketchup on it, put sauerkraut on it. No other condiments, definitely no American sauce, also known as ketchup, just mustard. And there you have it, Basque chorizos on the first Sunday of NFL football. I'm going to go eat.